our last podcast, we spoke about saving and investing. So which assets can you invest in? There are different types of assets. Let's take a look at three of the most important, starting with shares, also known as equity. In simple terms, a share is an ownership certificate, which means that if you buy a share, you have a stake in a company. This gives you certain rights, notably the right to share in its success. If the value of its share rises, the company may decide to make payments to its shareholders, known as dividends. On the other hand, if losses are made, no dividends might be paid or the share price might drop. Generally speaking, the share price depends on supply and demand, which is influenced by the company's profitability, the dividend it pays, its long-term business prospects, or the general sentiment of investors and consumers. Now let's have a look at fixed interest securities, also known as bonds. With a bond, you give money to a company which in return pays you interest and pays you back the borrowed amount at maturity. Unlike shares, bonds don't give you a stake in the company. They can be issued by a company, a state or regional and local authorities such as municipalities. They may have short or long maturities and pay high or low interest rates depending on the creditworthiness of the debtor and the basic interest rate levels in the capital markets. Generally, bonds offer greater price stability than shares, although their price can rise or fall according to changes in interest rates or the creditworthiness of the debtor. Fixed interest investments are suited for investors who wish to receive a steady income. Another asset class is real estate. Real estate can be either land or buildings. If a building is acquired for investment purposes, then one common aim is to rent the property to obtain rental income. In general, rent depends on the location, purpose and condition of the building. These three main asset classes involve different opportunities and risks. In principle, you can invest by buying shares, bonds, real estate or certain other assets directly from a bank, broker, asset manager or estate agent. Another possibility is to buy them indirectly through an investment fund, a popular approach used by millions of investors. In our next podcast, we shall explain why investment funds are so popular.